Here's the thing that you wanted. Here's your holotape, Proctor. Hope the data on that thing was worth it. Thanks. You know, it's good to see you're still in one piece. I wasn't sure what the Interceptor would do to you. You didn't expect me to survive the trip? A device like the Signal Interceptor is way out of my league. I was hoping you'd make it, but I find it tough to have faith in technology I don't understand. Oh my god. Speaking of technology I don't understand, I'll get this holotape to Proctor Quinlan. I'm dying to find out what's on it. What do you hope to find on there? Whatever the Institute doesn't want anybody to know. Before we jump to conclusions, let's see what Quinlan scribes can get off of it. I'm sure the Institute has all of their data heavily encrypted, so it's gonna take some time to crack. After that, we'll have to see what we've got. There's no telling what we might have grabbed off their mainframe. In the meantime, I've got a new assignment for you. So, I bet you're eager to get your hands dirty on our new project. How much has Maxon told you about it? Why all the secrecy? We're pouring every resource we have into this thing. We can't risk tipping off the Institute. For now, the fewer people that know about it, the better. Come on. It's this way. Unless you're blind as a bat, I'm sure you've noticed that we've been building a gantry in the tarmac. Maxon and Kells have been looking for something that'll tip the balance when we go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Institute. Now, the Pridwin might be a big beast, but she's not built for fighting. That's where our new project comes in. Is it a gigantic robot? Hello. This storage bay full of parts is what's left of Liberty Prime. The Brotherhood used it in the Capital Wasteland as a weapon against the Enclave. It's the most advanced robot the Brotherhood has ever had at its disposal. Unfortunately, Liberty Prime was destroyed in the line of duty. I've spent the better part of the last few years piecing him back together. And if you think that was easy, try rebuilding a Protectron while you're blindfolded. In order to get Liberty Prime fully operational, we're going to need your help. My help? I don't know a thing about robot repair. Why don't we leave the repairing to my scribes? You're going to be doing the legwork. Now, the good news is that we've got most of Prime's parts fully assembled. The bad news is that it's going to take more than a few rivets and some spot welding to get them working again. The first problem is his CPU. It's fragile, and every time we try to feed power to it, it blows itself out. Why is the power blowing out his CPU? Liberty Prime has a highly complex power system. A good deal of that system was damaged when he exploded. So I'm working in the dark trying to come up with parts on my own. Luckily, you were able to convince Dr. Madison Lee to return to the Brotherhood. She was on the original build team for Liberty Prime a little over a decade ago. I've already spoken to her, but she's reluctant to work on Prime for some reason. If you could get her down here to lend a hand with his power system, we can get the big guy moving. Where's Dr. Lee? Dang. Hold up, hold up. Why are you bothering with that joke? Dude. Are you dense? Well, I sweet talked Dr. Lee before. I could probably do it again. Take that microscope. Wonder glue, fuse. I remember Liberty Prime. Thing was a beast. She's a beast. I love the uh how they always, that they keep making so many references to Fallout 3. Love it. Okay, where is she? She's on the print one. Is Russ Bucket? Can you do anything for my suit? If you're here to talk me into working on Liberty Prime, you can forget it. What changed your mind? Nothing changed my mind. I promised you I'd return to the Brotherhood, and I've kept my end of the bargain. Do I need to remind you why you made that promise in the first place? No, that won't be necessary. Tell Proctor Ingram to get her scribes ready. It's going to take a hell of a lot of work to get Liberty Prime back online, but we'll get it done. Oh, <laughs> God. Uh, go back, go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. 
That was easy. She's so adamant that she wasn't gonna work on Liberty Prime. <laughs> what? We're just that smooth, you know? Smooth as a baby's behind. That's why you should always invest in charisma. All the charisma you want. Alright. Doesn't look kind of different in the light, don't you? Ingram? Well, things are off to a good start. Isn't that right, Doctor? I hope so. Prime suffered some significant damage to his memory core. I wish your people would have been a bit more careful, Proctor. The good news is that the damage isn't irreversible, and I should be able to get the power flowing into his CPU core without overloading. If your people stay out of my way, that is. Hmm, charming, isn't she? Did we make a mistake asking her to help? No, don't worry about it. We might not be best buddies, but we'll get the job done. Besides, Dr. Lee's worth all the aggravation. We're working with one of Prime's original designers. I don't see it getting any better than that. In fact, since things are going so well, we're gonna have you start building as electromagnetic actuators. What do the actuators do? Pretty simple, really. The actuators are what allows Liberty Prime's arms and legs to move. Prime's new limbs are way too heavy for the simple hydraulic pistons he had in the past. We're gonna have to rip those out, construct a brand new system using electromagnets, and install them in his limbs. What we need you to do is build the actuators for us. Now that you know what the actuators are, you need to know how to make them. These are the plans and the materials list. Don't lose them. Now before you get that look on your face, you'll be happy to know that we have plenty of the raw materials on that list right here at the airport. The only thing we need you to head out and find is a high-powered magnet. According to Proctor Quinlan, the best place to find one is in any of the ruined hospitals around the Commonwealth. We've already sent out a few teams to find the rest of the high-powered magnets you'll need. They should be back by the time you return. Once you start building the actuators, we need one for each limb, so you'll need to make a total of four. Good luck. Locate a high-powered magnet. I've been in so many hospitals before. Are you telling me that I, I couldn't have found, a, found one yet? Maybe it doesn't appear until we get the mission. We've been in this hospital before, should be clear. I have no idea why. What Facilities like this were funded by privately owned corporations, more interested in making a profit than helping mankind. Makes you wonder, like, what are the other areas, what are the other factions like? Okay, cut the shit. Oh, these guys are pussy cats. Disappearance. I got a lot of uh and please don't be ferals again. None of the other factor will be anywhere remotely as cool as the Brotherhood of Steel. They got a freaking robot. What do the Minutemen have? Could use a lot of. Uh, I need a lot more adhesive, so I know. So I need a lot more duct tape. Oh, so close. So close. Hit that G spot. No, it 
it won't. Shut up, you face. Oh, shit. It's like shooting fish in a barrel, man. What happened to this place being cleared? I, wonder, I can't remember if this is a different. There must be. It must be a different section of, because. There's a lot of stuff that I haven't picked up yet. Place rebuilding Liberty Prime on high priority. Ooh, a quantum. Still kicking. You betcha, lady. Betcha. Empty blood pack. Let's go upstairs. Language, language. Going up. Looking the wrong way. That's where the silver shroud mission was. Blind them. Desk man. More screws. Even close, you wish. You wish. We just killed the scarecrow right there. Straight up. Killed the scarecrow. Chances of something being good in here are very low. Red dress. Why do they Shit, Free aluminum. Oh, it's a cafe. That's such lameness. It's a cafeteria tray, man. <laughs> Grenades. <laughs> Trade ya. I'm assuming these are bathrooms. Surgical trays. Kids' room. Toy trucks provide screws. Monkey man doesn't do anything for me.
Oh. What the hell? Why didn't it set off? I don't I don't understand why that set off the uh bomb. Interesting. Did not look down. <laughs> to you that doesn't seem to me. Just want a magnet. What the fuck was that? Fucking Threw down a stim pack for nothing. After my terrible shooting right there. <laughs> what was that? Someone just died, that's what it was. <laughs> this is bullshit. Hello, Nuka Cola, come to daddy. I'll hit one right now. Got a lot of blood packs too, and then he... Whoops. Ah! Whatever. Do I want to go down or do I want to walk down? I feel like I want to walk down. Alright, don't go down that hole. It leads to nowhere good. Go down the elevator. Let's see. Been here before. Why are you not moving? Kind of strange, isn't it? It's weird. Hi. Talk to me? Fine. Can we get rid of this thing? We can scrap that, right? There. You guys can come get it whenever you want. They're right there for you. I only need one. Thank God they didn't make me go to four different hospitals. We'll stop the Jesus. Proctor Ingram. That's all four actuators. Delivered and done. Nice work. Right on schedule. I've completed the restoration of Prime's basic functions and he's ready to go. In fact, it's getting difficult to explain to the system why it can't move right now. Well, as soon as my scribes get those actuators in place, we'll have his arms and legs installed in no time. Which brings me to your next assignment. It won't be long before Prime can walk and talk, but he's missing one last important element. His nukes. Without them, his offensive systems aren't operating at peak capacity. 
What's Prime armed with? Prime has two weapon systems, his eye laser and his nuke pack. The eye laser can target a hostile from hundreds of yards out and take it down with pinpoint accuracy. His nukes are modified Mark 28 nuclear bombs. They used to drop the things from bombers during the war. Just one of the nukes is equivalent to about three or four fat man shells. Basically, whatever it hits isn't getting up again. His eye laser is almost ready to go, but without nukes to load into his pack, he's fighting at less than half his capability. Shouldn't be a problem. Just tell me where they are. I wish I could. Prime's bomb pack is fitted for Mark 28 nuclear bombs. The same type of bombs that were dropped from aircraft during the Great War. The Commonwealth was a major staging area for the military's air force, so we assumed we wouldn't have trouble finding them. But since we arrived, our scouting teams haven't located a single bomb. That's going to be a problem. Without a fully loaded nuke pack, Prime won't have the firepower to take on the Institute. Can I build the nukes like I built the actuators? I could build you a thousand nuke casings, right now. But we've got nothing to put inside them. The Mark 28s have a specialized nuclear payload that requires the correct balance of fissile materials in order for them to detonate properly. In other words, I'd love to mix you a cocktail, but I'm all out of liquor. But before you give up hope, there's actually a silver lining here. Proctor Quinlan has located some records regarding a military installation which was used as a nuclear weapons storage facility. We're fairly certain this included a stockpile of the Mark 28s. The catch is that the installation is located somewhere within the glowing sea. What do you mean you're only fairly certain? Are they in there or not? The glowing sea is so heavily irradiated, it's giving us echoed readings and false positives. We're just gonna have to trust the records on this one. It's fine. Scribe Halen's established a communications point on the frontier of the Glowing Sea. I suggest you head out there first and establish a signal protocol with her so that the nukes can be airlifted out once you've located them. Hopefully, by the time you've returned, we'll be ready to wake Prime up and you can say hello. I'm Good so luck, excited. Man. It's fine. We've been to there. Oh, Scribe Halen just all the way over here. Oh wait, no, oh, she's down there. It's not that bad. Edge of the Glowing Sea. I'm so excited to get Liberty Prime up and shaking. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, I gotta call a session there. I've been playing for about four hours now. <laughs> I need to take a quick break. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys are enjoying the series. We're reaching a pretty critical point right here. I have no idea why you would ever join any other faction. What other faction has a gigantic metal robot that shoots nukes? They have a metal gear, basically. <laughs> I don't care what the Minutemen or the Railroad has. But anyways, I will see you guys next time, alright? As always, happy last day.